Thanks for watching our video on how to deal with common problems with to auto air compressor. This video is for to auto A2 and A3 PCP air compressors. Although the positions of some buttons or interfaces of A2 and A3 are different, the internal structure and working principle are similar. This video is shot with the A2 air compressors. But you can also refer to this video to solve the problem of the A3 air compressors, hoping it is helpful to you. Question 1. What should we do if the machine cannot be turned on? Please replace the power cord. If it can be turned on normally, the power cord is damaged. If it still cannot be turned on, please connect the machine with a 1-2V car power supply. If the machine can be used normally, it means that the transformer is damaged. Please contact us to obtain a replacement transformer. You can follow the steps in the video, remove the transformer first. Then install the new transformer. When installing a new transformer, be careful not to connect each wire incorrectly. Question 2. What should we do if the machine can't generate pressure? The machine cannot generate pressure. It is recommended that you send the video to us for confirmation. In general, this can be solved by replacing the check valve, which you can find in the accessory kit. To replace the check valve, follow these videos. Question 3. What should we do if the machine does not stop automatically when it reaches the set pressure? Usually, when the machine pressure reaches the set 30 psi, it will automatically stop. If the machine pressure reaches the set 30 psi, but does not stop automatically, it means the machine's control board is faulty. Please contact us for a replacement control board. To replace the control board follow these videos. Question 4. What should I do if the machine has abnormal noise and cannot be inflated? In this case, it is usually an air leak. 1. Check whether the hose is damaged. If damaged, please contact us to replace the hose. 2. Check that the relief valve is tight. If not, tighten the pressure relief valve. 3. Check whether the explosion proof copper sheet is broken. If cracked, replace the explosion proof copper sheet. Question 5. What should we do if the machine shows E0 code? If the E0 code appears, it means that the temperature sensor is abnormal. If it comes off, reconnect the wiring. Question 6. What should we do if the machine shows E2 code? If the E2 code appears, it means the voltage is unstable. Please test it with a regulated DC voltage. If the problem cannot be solved, please provide us with pictures or videos. Question 7. What should we do if the machine shows E4 code? Generally, E4 appears because the pump automatically stops after reaching the set pressure. Loosen the pressure relief valve of the machine to deflate. Then tighten the pressure relief valve. Set the pressure and restart the machine, then inflate the air normally. Any further problems, please feel free to contact us through the platform, email, etc.